Hi everyone, um, this is going to be a shipwrecking tutorial. Uh, the first part is where I'm going to show you the basics and basically how to play the game. And the second part will be guiding you through one of my shipwrecking sessions. So, um, to start, shipwrecking is a puzzle where you have to move pieces on a board to create patterns that appear on the bottom of your screen. The pieces can only move or not move in some cases in the direction that shows on each piece. For example, the black pieces, otherwise known as iron, can only move horizontally or side to side. The brown pieces, wood, can only move vertically, which is up and down. The yellow pieces, rope, can only move diagonally. The white pieces, cloth, cannot move by themselves. Depending on your skill, you might have gold pieces. They do not move at all, but can be considered a wild card as they can be used as any of the other pieces. Um, so basically, in this game, you have to try to arrange your board to fit as many patterns as you can before the tide comes up to wash your biggest pattern away. Once you've gotten as many patterns as you can arranged, you pick the smallest pattern, place it over your board where it matches, and then click your mouse so that it clears. You want to start with the smallest patterns because the bigger ones give you more points when they're comboed. Combos are made when you clear your patterns in succession without moving any of the pieces on the board in between your clears. Okay, um, so I'm gonna start moving my pieces right away. I try to make the biggest pi the biggest patterns as I can. So um, I start moving things on the bottom to make a bowsprit. <laughs> I'm not really sure if I pronounce that right. Um, I made a capstan, and then I have to figure out what other pieces I can make. I can make a flag right there, or mm, or I can use this gold piece as the yellow so I can make a shackle. And then it's possible for me to make a ballast, so I make that in the corner there. Um, and there's also a flag on the bottom there, so I start clearing everything using the smallest pieces first. Oh, and then a cleat comes up. Wait, um, in shipwrecking, you just want to make your combos as big as possible. There's a knee right there. And there's a thimble. <laughs> so, um, just try to get the biggest combo that you can. Okay, I don't think there's anything else left I can do. So I'm going to start moving pieces again. Ma starting with the Latin. Um, bum, bum, bum. And then the helm. That's the next biggest piece. And let's see, I can probably make... A rudder, but like I haven't seen this video for a while, so I like for these types of puzzles, I try to do my narrating after. So, okay, I made a bolt rope right there, and there's the rudder, and I can possibly make a hatch. Oh, wait, no, I made a cleat. Yeah. And the tide is coming up really fast. So I'm trying to hurry my butt up. Okay, I did it. So start clearing everything. I forgot to clear the cleat before, but I, I'll do it now. Um, let's see. There's a cannon. Mmm. Oh yeah, a shroud. And I don't think I have anything else right now. I'll probably um, make a berth on the bottom because of those three whites. If you have three whites and you have a berth, go ahead and do it if you can. Um, let's see, I can make a bowsprit right in between there. Um, I think for shipwriting, you just have to mm, 
know how to fit things together. Sometimes these gold pieces can be tricky because um, you have to move things around them. You can't really move the gold pieces out of the way. So all you have to do is try to use the gold pieces. And, um, yeah. 